Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, I'm so excited for today's video. I have not stopped smiling in all of these 15 takes that I've done, because um, I keep going through and I'm so excited and I'm all teeth, which is hilarious, and I just, I couldn't figure out um, for any of these takes now how to just sit down and talk to you guys about something I'm super excited about, a new video series that I'm launching on my channel that I have put so much time and like thought into, and like how do I wanna do it, how do I wanna present it. And I think the best way and the reason that I can't figure out how to do it is because I just need to like, I just need to word vomit it out and talk to you guys. This is a new video series um, that I wanted to create on my channel. Uh, probably six, eight months ago, I started thinking about it, conceptualizing it, and really trying to decide if it was something that you guys would want to see. And after doing, you know, a little bit of incognito research with you guys and mentioning things here and there in videos, what I realized is that it's not only something you want to see, but myself as a viewer, it's something I would want to see. It's something that myself as an influencer um, of not only like makeup and plus size fashion and that sort of thing, but also just as a person on the internet that I like to investigate and I like to know and I really like to dive into the nitty gritty of things. Um, it's something that I was just really passionate about on all levels, something that other people seem to be really intrigued by as well. So without any further ado, I would like to introduce you guys to my new series titled Hashtag Not Sponsored. Um, it's something, oh my god, like even saying it out loud, is crazy guys this is something I've been thinking about for so long I think I've told all of two people <laughs> like because I just I played it so close to the vest I'm like what if people think I'm crazy what if they think it's stupid what if like I, I don't know but it's something I'm super passionate about basically the long and short of where this came from just to give you a little backstory um it, it comes from a place of being a consumer and being someone who is on the internet all the time not just because I'm on here as an influencer but also because I am on here as a consumer I'm on here as someone who watches YouTube and beauty videos and 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 clothing videos and I'm on Instagram and I'm in all of these places and ultimately um, you're sold to in all of those places there's constantly brands and people and this and that and people are always hashtag sponsored and what I wanted to do was try to find a way to bridge that gap between being sponsored and me as a consumer kind of going in and doing the um, investigative reporting on that sponsorship you know is the stuff that they say substantiated is it really a good company um, what was my customer service experience like is the website great? How do the returns work? And really going into the questions that myself as a consumer, I always, always have when I start considering even ordering from something that was sponsored to me. And one of the things that I loved about this concept in general is that it wasn't a targeted, like specific avenue. It wasn't just makeup, just hair, just clothing, so on and so forth. It was something that we see so many sponsorships. And I wanted to start off with one that I knew I would be comfortable in, one that I knew would be fun, something that you guys have been very curious about and that is why I chose Fabletics. So recently, I mean, if, unless you live under a rock or you don't follow any clothing accounts, oh uh, hell, even non-clothing accounts now, like even beauty and makeup accounts do them too, um, you will see at this time of year, because it's January, people set their New Year's resolutions, people start working out, which in turn means they buy, you guessed it, active wear. And uh, it's just something that Fabletics, I feel like this time of year, they really pump a lot of advertising dollars out. And I've always wondered, I mean, for years I have wondered, is Fabletics really worth it? Are they good? What is their quality like? Just all of these things. And what I figured out is that, is there a reflection hitting this hand right here? Oh, there is. <laughs> Sorry if that's distracting. I'm like, what the hell? Because I kept seeing it on me. I'm like, am I glowing? Like, what the hell? Tinkerbell, what are you doing in here? It's just from the window. There's actually sunlight in Michigan. Who knew? But anyways, getting back to what I was saying, Fabletics is doing a ton of sponsorships. They have a ton of ambassadors right now. And I really just wanted to know for me, are they worth it? Um, how is the process? Like I mentioned for everything else. And uh, that's what we're going to be diving into today. So where I'm going to start this video off is again, just by disclosing this video is not sponsored. I have not been contacted by or in communication with anyone at Fabletics or on the Fabletics uh, reach out customer service team. I am not an ambassador. I have no no monetary gain from this um, clothing gain or otherwise I purchased everything I am about to talk about all my clothing everything has been done strictly through me so just to put that 100% out there as a baseline and I'm really wanting to establish that up front because everything that I'm going to say could sound if it's positive it could sound very Sally it could sound like I'm trying to advertise to you and I just want to make sure again that that is a 100% clarified point real quick I want to dive in a little bit about
about Fabletics, what they are, and kind of dispel a couple of things because I've heard some people, um, like even a couple of you guys were like, hey, I think they might be like an online, just a retailer. I think they might be a shopping service, kind of like Stitch Fix where they send it to you, you pay them sort of thing. And there was just a little bit of clarity that I felt was needed there because there are aspects of it that seem to go both ways. So basically what they do is every month you are charged, once you sign up for Fabletics, you are charged or they take out $49.95 out of your bank account. You do have between the first and the fifth of every month to cancel that or say, hey, I don't want to be billed this month and you will not be billed. They don't take it out. Um, I have chose to skip several months. I've chose to let them do it a couple of months just to see what the process was. Both were completely seamless, so I didn't have an issue either way, but you do have between the first and the fifth to cancel. Um, you can set an alarm in your phone like, hey, I don't, I can't afford it this month. Like, girl, it's December. I got to buy Christmas presents. I can't be having no $50 missing from my bank account, that sort of thing. But if you do not cancel between the first and the fifth, you will be charged $49.95. From there, if you cancel it, obviously nothing happens. Your money stays in your account and you don't have any issues. You can still continue to receive Fabletics at a discounted price. You can shop when you want and you don't, you won't suffer any repercussions for it. Um, but if you choose to let it go through and that $49.95, it does come out of your bank account. All it does is get put into your online Fabletics account. And basically what it is, the way that I look at it is like my Fabletics piggy bank where like, okay, I let that money go out of my account. It's just going to sit over here. And then let's say maybe that happens one, two months. I skip a month. I forget a month. I let it go this month, whatever. And I don't shop for a month or two. All you end up with at the end of that is just that credit or credits sitting in your account. So uh, you let it go for one month and then you're like, oh, I'm going to skip this month. But like, damn, I ripped my leggings or, you know, I need I want this shirt or, oh, my God, they did this beautiful collab with Kelly Rowland, which they did. And it's stunning. Um, I really I really want to buy something, but I, I don't have enough money. Check your Fabletics account, because if you have let some of those credits go through, you will just have that money later on to apply to a purchase. And so essentially, it really is just a piggy bank or a way for you to put money Money aside over here um, that later on you can shop with if you see something if you need it if you want to buy it for someone gift it what have you so just to again further dispel anything that money doesn't go anywhere they don't send you anything this isn't like a subscription service like stitch fix where um, you pay money a stylist sends you something you send back what you don't like uh, this isn't like that at all all they do they take the money they're holding on to it in your little fabletics piggy bank if you will and you shop at leisure you shop whenever you feel like it that credit is always there for you to use. So moving past the financial side, which was very seamless, I do want to touch on shipping and returns because that's something that, again, myself as a consumer, I'm always curious about. They do offer free shipping on orders of $49.95 and over to the continental, you know, 48 United States. If you are in Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, there is, you know, more fees that can incur after that. Just something to keep in mind there, but it is free, again, if you're in the 48 base states here, and the free shipping is four to seven business days for free. Free. If your order is under $49.95, it is a $4.95 flat rate for the four to seven business days. There is also rush shipping available, which is $8.95 regardless of how large your order is. And that will get it to you in roughly two to three days. But that service is not available to the Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico um, area. So again, just something to keep in mind. And as far as the returns go, it's actually incredibly easy. All you do is go print off the free return label. It's in your little my order section. You roll over, hit, I want to return some items or exchange them. You go through, hit a checklist. It's very, very easy to follow through, hit all the prompts and to do on that side. So now we're going to dive in a little bit more to my personal experience with this. I became a VIP member with Fabletics on 10-4 of 19, uh, which has been several months at this point. And I did sign up under their two pairs of leggings. I think it includes leggings and joggers, so you can mix and match, but two pairs for $24, which is a freaking steal. It's such a good, such a good deal. I I didn't even realize what a good deal it was when I did it. Um, it's fantastic. This is an offer that will be available to you down below. I'll have a link in the description. Um, if you want to purchase them through me and you want to go that route, we'll talk about it at the end of the video. Um, but it is something that is still currently active and an option on their site if you want to test them out. But like I said, I signed up 10419 with that promotion. And during that promotion um, or, or that order, I placed an order for several other items um, just to really kind of dive in and get a feel for Fabletics. Who are they? What 
what do they offer, so on and so forth. That's actually what we're gonna dive into next. We're gonna talk about the clothing that I purchased, what I think, and talk about overall fit and quality. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start overlaying me trying on some of the clothing, just so you can see, you know, what I picked up, how it fits, all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off with leggings because I've purchased several pairs. I believe I have like three long leggings and then one pair of shorts to show you, the shorts I'm actually wearing right now while I'm filming this. So we're gonna, you know, just kind of dive into that and I'll kind of just, you know, loop them on the screen for you. I don't want this part to be super long, but I do want you to see them, see how they fit and all that good stuff. So I have purchased the Utility High Waisted Legging in a 1X. Now these ones are a full length black legging, which I absolutely love the fit of. They do have zippers down at the bottom of the ankle that you can, you know, zip and unzip. It is a functional zipper down there. And they also have a pocket on the side, which is also a functional uh, pocket, but does have a zipper closure. Now I will say this pair of leggings did fit me tighter than the rest of them. And I'm not sure what this is. Like every legging that I will be talking about is in a 1X. And this is the only 1X that I purchased that I was kind of like, oh girl, hmm, I kind of feel a little bit, a little bit extra chunky in these. Like it was just a little bit tighter than the rest. And I don't know what that is. If I had to guess, it would be that when you sew in a zipper, it maybe takes up a little more real estate or it has a little bit less stretch because zippers are just like a standard structure. So they're not something that really has much give to them, but that's just my, you know, summarizing of it. Um, but nonetheless, they do fit very nicely. I don't love this pair as much for that reason, just because it's a little bit more snug and because um, I like to put my, my feet into large Ugg boots in my day-to-day -day life. And that zipper does kind of press a little bit on the side of my foot. If you're wearing them with just standard tennies and going to the gym, you wouldn't have that issue. Uh, but just something to consider if you're like me and you put them in boots or something like that. Um, from there, I also purchased the purple pair of leggings, which is the Mila high-waisted legging with a pocket, also in a 1X. These are $49.95. It's also worth noting that the utility ones with the zipper were $69.95. And we'll talk about pricing and all of that here in a while. But the purple Milas are probably my favorite pair that I purchased. I love the color of them. I love the way that they are very functional. They fit very, very nicely. All of the leggings I purchased have a beautiful high rise so we don't need to keep touching on that over and over again but these ones have a pocket on the side that's just like a nice standard open easy to slide in and out pocket no zipper no closure and I just that's my favorite spot for a pocket is just right on the side of the leg especially when I'm wearing leggings I also purchased a, another pair I think I have one more pair of long leggings to show you in this video and that is the high-waisted power hold legging also in a 1x and that pair retailed for $44.95 and this one has has, like it's my favorite hold it's my favorite structure it has the high rise the snug everything that I love my only downside with this pair is that it doesn't have a pocket on the side of the leg so I don't have anywhere to put my cell phone but other than that it's just a beautiful pair of leggings it is so 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 comfortable I've worn this pair of leggings so many times um, I absolutely love them now I also picked up one pair of shorts, which I did mention earlier, they are very similar to that pair of leggings. It's the high-waisted power hold short, nine inch short um, in a 1X and they are $34.95, so about $10 less than that pair of leggings. I'm wearing them right now, like I mentioned, super comfortable. The high waist is amazing. It has a ton of give, but still gives you nice rigidity. Now, after this, I want to go ahead and run through some tops that I purchased as well. And this would be a good time to pause and mention sizing because I didn't do this before. Whoops, my bad. Um, um, but as far as sizing goes with Fabletics, I was really excited. I believe they used to go up to a 3X and they now go up to a 4X. Just so proud of that. Like seeing Fabletics increase their size, going up to a 4X, being more inclusive. And it's not something where it's just all segregated, where it's like, oh, the straight sizes get this and the plus sizes get this. Like there might be a couple of designs that are, are not, you know, in both sizes, but for the most part, it's just super open and very inclusive, which I appreciate. I also want to mention that I typically would be more like an 18 20 20, especially right now. And everything that I purchased is a 1X, which I believe for Fabletics is closer to a 1618. But I like my leggings to be snug. So if you're using me as a guide, just something to keep in mind. I really like my leggings to be like very snug, very, because I like that feeling of the hold of my stomach and feeling, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's like a fibro thing or what, but sometimes whenever I wear a legging, I just need it to be tight. I don't like it to be loose because then it rubs around and it, huh, it makes me crazy. 
knees. So I am typically, you know, probably would be a traditional 2X, but because I like that little bit of extra tightness, I go with the 1X personally. So something to keep in mind if you're using me as a sizing reference. But from there, I want to dive into a few tops and I can kind of rapid fire through these. The only sports bra that I have purchased from them that I love, um, and it's not their fault. I just do not in full disclosure, I hate sports bras. I don't like them. They're not comfortable. I carry a lot of weight on my back, so they always end up just being all weird and cordy, and I just, I don't like it. But I absolutely love their Delta Seamless Mid Bra. I get it in an XL. You'll see me trying it on here. I have it in multiple colors. I have it in black and red and gray, and I think one more other color I can't remember, but I bought it in all of them, and it is so, so comfortable. I love it, and I believe in the try-on, I'm wearing it with a bra just because I was trying on so many other shirts that day. But this is such a comfortable option if I want to sleep in it, if I want to um, wear it like under another jacket, zip it up a little ways so I have a bra. It kind of does like a peekaboo thing. If I'm just spending a day around the house, it gives me a little bit of support, but not too much. It's a very, very light or low impact sports bra, and it's so insanely comfortable. It gives me nice back coverage, and I freaking love that bra. So I have to show it all the love. Now from there, we're going to talk about the performance jackets that I picked up. I have a couple of full zips and a couple of quarter zips and I think I have one example of each to show you but I have the Rosalia performance jacket which I purchased in a 1x and that one is a full zip all the way up and down um, I wear the black one a ton they have the thumb holes they have the really nice vent pocket in the back this is something that I have worn on camera I've worn it on Instagram and every time I do I always get questions from you guys where did you get that oh my god and it's because the fit on these jackets is so perfect and so tailored and so amazing and I'm really happy because the fit and tailoring and all of that on the full zip is very, very similar to the tailoring on the quarter zip. It still has the holes in the, the thumbs for comfort. It has that vent pocket, so it's nice and loose back there. And that one is the Rosalia Performance LS Top 2. And that's, again, that quarter zip. And what I love about that one, which I have it in two colors, I have that one in red and blue. Um, I love that one because it gives you that nice fit, that nice structure. But if you're feeling you know like you you want a nice seamless look from the quarter zip down it provides a beautiful just seamless seamless silhouette and it's so easy to wear and someone like me I actually like I mentioned carry a lot of weight in my back so having these options with that vent pocket um, back there it just it's kind of like a mesh back and it really disguises um, any lumps or bumps or anything that you might be insecure about which I will openly admit I have been my entire entire life I've never liked the fact that I carried weight on my back and so so whenever I pick out a jacket like this, if it's really tight or clingy, it looks kind of weird because I have those bumps. And these jackets just do a beautiful, effortless, it looks like it was meant to be their all along job at disguising any lumps or bumps. And they're just so freaking beautiful on. Like I love these. I love too about these jackets, just as a side note, they're very workable. They're very like nice athleisure. I want to work out. I want to dress them way down. Or if I'm going out, I don't feel weird wearing one to a restaurant because they're very nice. They look polished. They have beautiful seams and symmetry and line work and detail that is stunning. So I just wanted to point that out. If you're purchasing it to work out or just to go out in general and live your life, they're great either way. Um, next thing I want to mention, coming out of random left field here, I have the Lada Sherpa jacket. I bought this in an XL, and it is a really, really heavy, beautiful, dense Sherpa jacket. Uh, retailed for $79.95. Now, this jacket can be very large, very cumbersome. I'm not going to talk about it a ton because I feel like I've talked about it on my channel and on Instagram a fair amount. There are some pictures of me wearing it on Instagram. Um, and I think overall with this jacket, the key to remember is that it is a very, very thick, bulky. It is going to keep you warm. This isn't like a Sherpa jacket that's like, oh, nice, light, thin. No, honey, this is going to keep you all kinds of bundled up and toasty ass warm. I actually took my Instagram pictures on a day where it was blustery and freezing and there was snow whipping everywhere. It was like 22 degrees and I was totally as hell inside that jacket. I also picked up the Aria Scoop Neck LS Top. I grabbed that in a 2X, and that's just a standard shirt design. Again, like it mentioned, a scoop neck. It does have the little holes for your thumbs, and it's just basically a long sleeve shirt, and it's a really, really nice lightweight. This one isn't like a fleece lined or something that's gonna keep you super warm. It's very performance feeling. It has really nice um, slippery type fabric to it. I've worn it a ton, very flattering, and it lasts very well throughout the day. It doesn't get all like weird or stretchy 
stretched out or anything like that. I also have the Zaley Funnel Neck Tunic in a 2X, and that one is like a really oversized, or I shouldn't say oversized, but it feels like a very large, kind of unflattering, I'll say it, you know, be honest about it, a very large, unflattering kind of sweatshirt that goes all the way up. It's going to cover you, give you that turtleneck coverage, gives you all the way down to the armholes. It is longer, so it even goes, you know, down past your torso, at least for me it does. And this is a very interesting thing for me. It's something I normally would never reach for because, again, it is shapeless. It does have that kind of bag feel to it. If I wanted to just sit back, lay down, you know, do the top knot, curl up, and, you know, sit down, maybe eat some ice cream, and I just wanted to be bundled and warm and I don't care, this is such an amazing option. I also picked up the Stacy Pullover. I grabbed that in a 1X. It's a nice white crew neck um, material, and this one is the first time with Fabletics that I saw a material that was almost more of what I would call like a hand towel, or I think people call it like a terry cloth, um, where it's not like a super soft, you know, overdone Sherpa type um, consistency on the inside. It was more so just a regular standard crew neck, and it says never settle on the front. I loved the messages of these. They had a couple of different ones, and I was really glad to get my hands on this. I have one more item that has that similar feel to it, and that is the Halle Cinchable Half Zip Hoodie in a 1X, and the shade or what it was called was the Washed Real Teal Camo. Now, this one I've had since the very beginning, so I don't know if it's still available on their website, but it was a really nice option. It has that same terry cloth type material, cinchable waist so you can move it around if you want to cinch it in, if you want to let it be flowy. That's kind of a cool option. Now, after all of that, I feel like I've talked a ton. I apologize. I know there was a lot to get through. Um, I want to briefly touch on quality because that's like, again, the one big thing everyone wants to know about. How is the quality of these pieces? Do they hold up? So I have been on a legging kick lately and I'm not even gonna lie guys, like I might have got a little extra fluffy over the holidays. I might have ate just a little bit too much homemade Chex Mix. Whatever, what are you gonna do about it? Sue me. And so past Christmas and um, you know, now we're sitting here, um, my belly is just like a touch fuzz bigger and I'm not gonna lie and say jeans are comfortable. Jeans aren't even comfortable when, yeah, any size. I don't even care. Like they're not like, oh, let me just like put on this band that buttons buttons? Ew, no thank you. So I have been wearing all of my Fabletics leggings recently, and I did it for a reason, not only just because I got a little extra fluffy, but also because I wanted to test the inner thigh, the chub rub region, and the overall breakdown of these. Guys, the quality is ridiculous. I literally washed and wore, just because I wanted to see how they would hold up, my Power Hold leggings from Fabletics. I washed and wore them, I'm not exaggerating, probably... I would say every other day for like two weeks, really just like wash wear, wash wear, just to see, are they going to break down? I'm here to tell you, they didn't break down at all. I had no pilling. I've had no issues with like the chub rub region. I have had no weird like uh, seams that get kind of free. I've had, I've had no, it, they still look brand new. Every pair of leggings that I have from them looks brand new. Whichever option you choose to go with, as far as quality, as far as the shirts go, all of it, I have not purchased not one item and I have spent a lot of time, a lot of money. I've spent, I, I purchased several pieces, as you can see. Um, there were actually a couple that I didn't mention just because it was redundant, but out of everything I purchased, I have not had one piece of that clothing that was under par, that I thought wasn't good, that the quality was compromised, nothing. So I think how I'm gonna round out these videos, I was trying to think of a cool way to do it, um, and I think I want to round them out by answering one very simple question. Paige, after your experience as a regular run-of-the-mill customer, would you take a sponsorship from this company? Would you be an ambassador? Would you so on and so forth with this company? Um, because I think ultimately, like, that's going to be my guiding force is, if I loved it, if I had a good experience, and if all of these things align, would I feel comfortable accepting money from this brand or brand, you know, food or whatever to talk about their product? And that is how I think these videos will best conclude. So I will end this video answering the question, Paige, would you be a Fabletics uh, ambassador? Would you do a sponsorship for them? And I can tell you with a resounding yes, I would have no issue, not one, becoming one of those. I, I would gladly become, I, hell, if anything, Fabletics hook find a girl because I uh, would love to. I think that their quality is fantastic. Everything about this company that I have experienced from my side of things, I have not had one bad interaction. I do want to touch on one thing quickly um, as far as the price of the leggings. If you're like me and you were like, girl, I don't care if those leggings are $90, you become a VIP, they become $70 or whatever it is. There ain't no way in hell I'm spending that much money. I felt the same way. I was the exact... <laughs> 
I, it's actually funny because I was the same exact person. And I will tell you very openly, that's why I never pulled the trigger on Fabletics. I was like, I cannot justify that much money. But for as well as these last, they will easily outlast, outwork, outstretch, outfunction, and be more comfortable than every other pair of leggings I have purchased. I have purchased pairs that have been $60 before, that have been 50, 40, 30. I've purchased leggings at all price points. And these are a different type of animal. Um, and I'm very, very confident in saying that. So I just wanna leave it with that. If you are like me, nervous about the price point, I would strongly encourage you to check out that two for 24 link. Um, and that's gonna be my ending segue, especially for this video. As I mentioned at the beginning, I have nothing to gain monetarily from this, a short sort from you know, ads on YouTube. Um, there's no way for me to be paid from Fabletics, but I do want to say that if you are wanting to sign up, you're considering it, and you wanted to click my link and sign up through me, which will be listed down below, um, that is the only way that I will receive anything, and I don't receive um, commission. I believe I receive a credit on my account. It's like $30 or $40, something like that. Um, but that is the only way that I receive anything, and it's not even money. All it does is put money into my Fabletics piggy bank so I can shop with your or basically referral dollars. So if you sign up through my link, that is all I get. Um, if you want to shop these items, you don't want to become a VIP, you're like, screw this crap, I don't have any desire for that, that's fine too. I will do my best to link the items down below. I think it'll let me do that. Um, but you will have to go in, I believe you have to create an account. And even if you don't want to become a VIP, you, you'll you pay full price, which is like the higher price, of course. Um, but I think, I don't know if I can monetize those or not. All, all of it will be listed down below. Um, so I will have everything that's available because they sell out very quickly. So if you ever see anything you like, get it quickly because it sells real fast. Um, but I will have everything that's available linked down below. And guys, I think that that's everything for this video. Holy cow. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. What do you think? Did I cover pretty much everything? Is there um, any anything that you think I missed? I want to hear your guys' feedback. Do you want to see more of these? Along those lines, if you do like this, if you think it's a cool concept, if you're like, oh my God, Paige, this is great. I love this idea. I love that. I love that you love it, but I need your help. What are some things that you have seen sponsorships on that you are really curious about? Um, I personally was kind of thinking like HelloFresh. That's a huge one that I know a lot of people talk about. That's a meal kit delivery service. And it just has to be something that you can actually delve into that you can really, like it has to be a service that's provided. So let me know down below if there's anything you guys would be curious about. And let me know, just like I said, do you like this? Is there anything here you're looking at? Do you want to sign up um, and check it out down below? Just let me, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions because I want to hear from you. I'm so nervous to put this on the internet already because I just like, it's such, it's such a different kind of concept and I'm nervous about it, but I'm also really excited. So anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, you can do that down in the description box. They will both be listed. Um, and what else is, oh, hello. Yeah. Hi, if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do that as well so you can keep seeing this. I do beauty videos, uh, favorites, hate it. I do full faces of new makeup, all that kind of stuff. You guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Holy cow, I'm so nervous to put this on the internet. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. What if everybody hates it? What if they think it's so dumb and it's something I've been working on for so long? Ooh. Uh.